Would you like to receive a truly anointed, joy-filled touch of healing power from God? You can receive that through an anointed healer who is anointed by God to heal. And would you like to become such an anointed healer that you can give a powerful, joy-filled, healing touch that expresses and demonstrates the joy of the Lord like a magnificent, majestic mountain higher than you've ever seen in your life that is all full of joy, that it just reaches beyond the skies in joy. You know, your joy is just lifted to the heights you can't imagine. And within that joy, the healing power touches you, and you're healed from the top of your head to the tips of your toe. That is the truly anointed healing touch of God. And you can receive that in, in several ways. You can receive that. If you spend enough time in prayer, you can receive that directly from God. Or you can receive that from an anointed healer. And it's not necessarily, you know, it doesn't have to be a laying on of hands or any kind of physical touching. It doesn't have to be in any particular locality. It can be across the miles. You know, you can receive that healing touch across the mile. That magnificent manifold. I mean, it is a manifold healing touch. It doesn't just heal one area. It doesn't just heal your... It doesn't just heal your mind or your nervous system or <clears throat> your uh, thoughts, you know, or raise you up in higher consciousness. It doesn't do it doesn't just do those things, but it also heals your your entire body and lifts you up to see how great and gracious is the real joy and love of God. And so it's all important that it be a all-encompassing experience, a experience of superlative, magnificent power that washes over you and cleanses you in so many ways at once. And we can have that. We can receive that. You can be an anointed healer like that. If you spend enough time with God, you'll be allowed to have that. Well, that healing power will just be coming through you all the time. If you spend that time in God preparing to be a truly anointed, ordained healer of God that God puts his blessing upon, he puts his mantle upon, he puts his, that, he puts that, he, that immortal camp, so to speak, of healing, sanction, and healing, anointing, you know, you his presence comes down and his, all of his, the joy of his power and uh, many times it feels just like, like it's in audible words, but it's really just an all-encompassing power that sounds, it just seems like uh, words of anointing and it just, you know, like the words of, of an actual physical, uh, physical words of anointing, but it's really a, actual spiritual anointing that is all-encompassing and fills your whole being, fills your whole spirit, fills your whole mind with a, such a tremendous joy that you know it can only come from the Lord. And then it uh, is witnessed to over and over and over and over again. And God comes back to you over and over again and re-anoints uh, you and re-emphasizes that you are uh, sanctioned and that you are anointed as a healer. And uh, to be perfectly honest, it's hard to get away from healing once you really get that real healing touch from God and that real sanction from God. Because he puts that on your heart and your mind and gives you the overwhelming love and joy to do it. And then he shows you how that your, that your love and your joy is going to increase every time you heal another person. And so it becomes a matter of you wouldn't want to get away from the healing ministry. You never would want to get away. Yeah, and you would never want to turn anyone down that needs healing. And so it's a powerful thing. And, and I, I would hope 
that there would be people listening to me that would want to be anointed healers. That they would want to gain that healing power that would lift people out of anything that is even a, even the so-called incurable diseases. And, you know, of course, the word incurable is an oxymoron because there's nothing, well, especially when it's connected with diseases because there's no such thing as one disease being more powerful than the other one or one disease more being more incurable than the other one. And diseases are diseases and God is God and his power is his power. And his power works just as effectively over a tiny scratch as it does over the most incurable disease. And it works just as fast. It doesn't have to work in a slower way to do an incurable disease. And there's no less joy in doing a scratch than it is in doing an incurable disease or vice versa. God can do any of them and do it rapidly. And with that, comes within the package a great and tremendous and magnificent joy and increase in consciousness and love. And so it's something to be greatly desired, not only by the person who wants to be the healer, but the person who uh, needs to be healed. They, they should want that touch of God. And that's why God provides that touch, because it's a marvelous way of demonstrating his love and his power and joy. And that has been ordained from the beginning like that. The Lord was always said, yeah, I am thy healer, and I will put none of these diseases upon the people that constantly turn to me, and those that don't turn their back on me and forget my promises and so forth. It's because that real fellowship with God Brings power and brings energy and brings joy that keeps the person healthy. And so, uh, well, you say, how does the body get out of order and how does it get into an incurable condition? Well, there's several ways that that happens. One is, is that uh, the chemical imbalances and uh, the... Uh, fact that there's certain belief systems and certain frustrations and stresses which we don't understand the connection uh, those who have not learned about it you know the healers do uh, and those who are training you know a lot of medicine a whole lot of medicine not just superficial medicine but the whole everything from holistic medicine to uh, uh, from uh, to AMA type medicine to uh, the physical physiology and all of the pathophysiology and the entire thing as well as the holistic uh, nature and as well as the integrated medicine and, uh, and, uh, and the healing arts of God and the healing power of God and uh, if they understand all that they understand how all of this works together to create a, a disease formation and so uh, that's how it, it hap that happens but and it happens in a way that we don't know when it starts, you know, without a lot of, you know, really a whole lot of uh, understanding and, and, and examination. We wouldn't know exactly when it starts. It could start, you know, it could start when you're one or two years old and then it doesn't, it doesn't show up until you're 20, 30 years old or older. It could start at 20 and not show up till you're 70. But it's there and, you know, it's forming. But uh, getting in touch with God and getting an anointed, anointed, touch from God and keeping in touch with your anointing and then keeping getting more and more uh, uh, touches from God for healing will keep that disease formation from progressing and you will gain the healing of it before it ever takes form in an outward situation where it is even recognized and so that's the importance the importance is of always remain in a healing receptivity always remain receptive to healing always remain receptive to every divine touch that god wants to give you you need to go to god every single day and several times a day really and ask what healing touches do you need to give me and what anointings can i receive today and what how do you need to wash across me today and I am going to be receptive to that. I'm going to receive that. I'm going to lift up my hands and receive that. Praise God. Thank you for it. 
And he can give you a healing touch every day that will just wipe out the stresses and wipe out all the stresses that make the changes in your body on a daily basis. All the frustrations, all of the worries and everything that, that, that does the wear and tear on your body. He can touch it right there in that moment for that day, you know, or, or that moment for that hour and so forth and heal you of all the different repercussions of the various things which are coming against you. And so by staying in a receptive mind to healing at all times, we can prevent diseases from taking form formation in the first place. And so it's, it's, it's a mighty wonderful thing. This, this, uh, these healing arts like this is a, it's a mighty, mighty wonderful thing. And the divine anointing of God is a mighty, wonderful, joy-filled, love-filled situation that you want to be a part of once you realize what it actually is. You want to be a healer. You know, that's a, that's a joy-filled thing. A very love, love-producing, joy-producing thing for you to be involved in. So I'm going to pray if there are people out there listening or listening wherever they are from one mile of here to 10,000 miles from here or wherever they are listening to this video that they uh, will receive if they're if they're desirous of this anointing that they will receive a mighty anointing right now right present they'll receive a mighty healing touch that will be filled with joy and love to overflowing and they will think that they've just seen a a mountain that's higher than the sky and it says joy all over it and joy is just flowing out over in rivers of living water flowing down the mountainside covering them up they'll just think that that much joy has descended upon them and i just pray right now that people that need be healed will open up their heart right now receive the healing touch i'm sending out in the name of jesus heal people and raise them up right now raise them up out of every illness and every incurable disease and raise them up dear god and give them that joy and that power and that love right now in the name of jesus i pray amen amen Amen. I pray now for you in the name of Jesus that you will be healed fully and completely for the disease never to come back again from your head to your toe with power and joy. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, amen and amen and amen and amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen.